All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cobra Vids. This is another F-150 video. And as you can see on that dash there, there is a check engine light. And that occurred uh, on my way to work this morning. I just splashed through a large puddle of water. And shortly after that, I noticed the check engine light on. And when I came to the stop, I was watching how my truck was idling. And it was idling beautiful, like a brand new truck. And as you can see by that odometer, it's not a brand new truck. Uh, it looks like a pretty brand new truck, but it's not mileage wise. And as you can see there, you've got 218,000 miles on this baby. Well, uh, once I got to a stop uh, and then I went to try to accelerate, I realized immediately I have no power. It goes. It accelerates, but at a very slow pace. I have zero power. There's a little bit of power when I first take off, but as soon as I get past first gear, it really has no power, but it runs fine. It doesn't run rough, it doesn't shift rough, it shifts like a brand new truck. So I did a little research on brake, and um, from what I can tell, it's looking like it might be turbos having failed or at least one turbo in a flash we'll be right back with the code reader okay guys i'm off work at home and i i went and found this one i found a bunch of other uh boost not coming up to pressure error codes i whenever you see a lot of different error codes you always want to try to erase them and see what comes back first because that very well might be a good sign of what is really causing the problem and this is camshaft position three and there's actually three different codes here supercharger under boost okay see that's that's the p0299 one code is P0369, camshaft position sensor B, circuit intermittent, bank one. And then the next one is camshaft posi position sensor B, circuit bank one. My guess is we need to find out where this bank one sensor B is. And I have a feeling I know which side it's on. And then we have to test those out, make sure we can get uh, those to test good. And then if we can, then this one might Probably not, but might come back. We shall see. I'll be back with an update. Alrighty guys, well, you see that there are no powertrain DTCs. That basically says there's no error codes present. It's been running for a few minutes. I'm gonna start this baby back up, let it check the computer again, reconnect, see if there's any error codes. Let's see. No error codes. All right. And the truck seems to be running normally so let's go under the engine compartment and see what i did okay guys here's the so ever ever uh, bleh, the familiar ecoboost engine that i did the uh, vacuum pump on and guess what you all know how somebody screwed up this valve cover gasket that's why it looks like i have a brand new ford Valve cover, that's because it is a brand new one. Someone screwed up the valve cover gasket and cracked the inside wall and made it dump oil on the intake pieces and it dumped at the back. And uh, and it was also leaking at the vacuum pump. But what I did was I researched where that, sensor, that camshaft position sensor is and it is right back here. And as soon as I realized what one it is, I thought, you know what? I think I know what the problem is. Because the idiots that worked on this has broken a lot of these clips, a lot of these things. Uh, all, all of Let me find one here. All of the things that these go into, they're all broken. Okay, very sloppy work, very sloppy work. The purple thing is gone in this one, and this, this will pop off if I tried without pushing it any pins or anything uh they really they really butchered the electrical connectors on this and this one this one too if you push it in and click it in it'll click but there's something broken on it and when i reached in there and touched that it fell off so that is the problem uh bank one is obviously passenger side and it is the exhaust 
camshaft right here. That is the, the Bank 1B camshaft position sensor. And that plug was off. It just wiggled loose. Okay, now let's just verify this. Okay, so we're gonna plug this code reader. Apologize for the dinging, the dinging that this thing is doing. But okay, I'm gonna turn the key on. Key is on. And we're gonna go ahead and it's connecting. Link into the cam, or can, <laughs> cam. Let's see if there's an error. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's an error code. Okay. There wasn't before. So me jiggling that thing around probably caused something to malfunction. So what are we going to do? Hmm. Interesting. Let me work on this a little bit, clean up that connector, and I'll get back to you. All righty, guys. Here's going to be the last clip for this video. Um, after uh, test driving and uh, doing some little things to diagnose the truck, I have solved the problem. I mean, how upset would you guys be if I just ended it there and didn't verify the fix to the issue? Alrighty, so here, here we go. That sensor right there, that is the exhaust, the Bank 1 Sensor B exhaust camshaft sensor i believe i told you already that when i first touched it the clip was pulled out and i snapped it in but that didn't really seem to clear the errors i even took it for a ride and it did not clear the errors okay so i was thinking okay well something else was wrong so i went ahead and had my wife stop by and get me a camshaft position sensor so that i could replace it if i decided to the next night i was home from work because i a lot of times i have to do these things after i get home from work and i only have a couple hours of daylight this and that that and this so what i did was i went ahead and i removed that sensor all the way out it's just an eight millimeter bolt and then that there pops out there's an o-ring that seals it and when i pulled it out and i regret not recording this uh but i had a bunch of family over so it was kind of inconvenient but the piece that goes down to the camshaft it had a bunch of material on it and i don't know if you guys realize but camshaft position sensors and a lot of other sensors are magnetic and around that sensor there was a bunch of debris it looked like grease and when i wiped it off from a rag i realized it was magnetic material now where that magnetic material came from i do not know and it scares the hell out of me to know that there was magnetic material on that camshaft position sensor but i'm not going to worry about that now because the truck runs beautifully it's got uh it's got a lot of miles on it but it runs beautifully so i'm not too concerned about it right now and if uh if I need to address uh, worn bearings or something going out, well, then it's a great time to overhaul this engine and it'll be a wonderful YouTube series. Right, guys? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It'd be fun for me to do. But anyway, so I cleaned off that debris and I used some electronic cleaner and i cleaned both sides the plug and the actual sensor and i cleaned those contacts up really good mounted it plugged it back in started it up i went for about a three mile ride came back and all of the permanent and intermittent codes gone no boost codes no nothing i went to a few small hills that it had trouble getting up when it was airing out and it has all the boost it needs. It picks up speed just like it did when I first bought the truck. So that, I don't know if it was dirty connection. Uh, I doubt that it was the loose connection because it didn't clear and it still acted gutless uh, after I plugged it back in. So I'm going to say that that magnetic material on there affected the way that that sensor read the cam. So that's what I believe fixed it. Uh, I did not install the new one. I just put the old one back in there. Everything's good. Truck's good. No error codes. 
back in action, back going four-wheeling, off-roading, having fun, and everything like that. I love my truck. The F-150 has always been a great truck for me, and so is the new one, the EcoBoost. Even though it's a V6, it drives and pulls like it is a V8. All right, guys, it was a blast doing this repair video for you. I hope it helps you diagnose uh, your issue or at least shows you where that uh, camshaft position sensor is located. And by the way, just in case, the intake cam is A, B, and then over on bank two, A, B. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you for watching Cobra Vids as always. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, ding, ding. All right, guys, stay safe, stay free. We're out of here.